Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be exploring the ASTM C642 standard for determining the density, water absorption, and void percentage in hardened concrete. Here are the materials and apparatus that we'll need. Balance Oven Water heater Pot And bucket Test specimen Whenever possible, the sample shall consist of several individual portions of concrete. The individual portions may be pieces of cylinders, or beams of any desired shape or size, except that the weight of each portion shall be not less than approximately 800 grams, and each portion shall be free from observable cracks, fissures, or shattered edges. Now let's start the test with the first step, oven dry mass. First, we take out the sample from the curing tank and remove the surface moisture by a towel. Then, we determine the initial mass of the specimen. Next, we place the specimen in the oven and set the temperature to 110 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius and keep it there for minimum of 24 hours. In my case, because I just take them out of curing tank for initial drying period, I keep them in the oven for 48 hours, and then take them out and let them to cool in dry air until the temperature reach to the 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Once it is cooled, we determine its mass again. Then we place it back inside the oven for another 24 hour drying period until the difference is less than 0.5% of the lowest value obtained. The last value that we obtained is designated as A, and we will be using it in further calculation. For supporting this channel, please do not forget to push the like and subscribe button. Second step is to determine the sample mass after immersion in the water. We place the specimen in the bucket filled with water at a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius and keep it there for at least 48 hours. Then we take out the sample from the water and remove the surface moisture using a towel. For the second period of immersion, we put the sample back into the water for 24 hours and then we determine the mass again. If the differences between the values is not more than 5% of the highest value, we consider it as a saturated mass and designate it as B. Third step in our procedure is determining the sample mass after boiling. To carry out this step, first, we place the samples inside a pot and fill it with tap water. We then turn on the water heater to bring the water to a boil and allow the samples to soak in the boiling water for a period of 5 hours. It is important to note that during this 5-hour boiling period, the water level must be kept at a level to ensure that the samples are thoroughly soaked. After 5 hours have passed, we turn off the water heater and allow the water to cool naturally, without any external intervention. The cooling process should take not less than 14 hours, and should allow the water to reach a final temperature of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Once the water has cooled, we take out the samples and remove the surface moisture. After that, we determine the mass of each specimen and designate the value as C. The final step is to calculate the immersed apparent mass. 
This step involves suspending the specimen into the water and measuring the apparent mass for each sample. The resulting measurements are then designated as D. At the end, as you can see in this slide, I've inserted all the values that we found from today's test in the top table. In the middle, you can see that I've written all the formulas we need from the ASTM standard. And at the bottom, you can see that I measured all the values and inserted them in the table below. My aim for this test was to find the porosity of the hardened concrete sample, and it's 4.25%. That's it for today's video on ASTM C642. I hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.